Hello? Is it ready? What do you mean by it's not ready? Then why are you calling me? Look, 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 Mr. Man. If you don't want to see my trouble, please get my car ready by the end of today. What nonsense. Honey, I'm home! Babe! This car is parked outside. Where could it be? Honey? Babe? Babe? She's not here. Maybe he's taking a nap in the room. Oh, babe, you're here. You're crying. What's wrong? Babe, talk to me. You're scaring me. What happened? Why are you crying? She, she, she passed on. Who? <laughs> My mom. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so, so sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. I'm officially an orphan. No father. No mother. And to make matters worse, no siblings. Just stuck with some aunties and. Uncles who don't give a shit about me. Come on, babe. Talk like that. You have me. I'm here for you. And soon you have two or three bundles of joy running around the house. Are you... Are you pregnant? Wait. You finally took in after years of struggling. Please... Tell me you're pregnant because I I could really use some good news. Well, I haven't confirmed it yet. But the doctor called and said the fertility test is likely going to work this time. He said that? Yes. 
but I hope so. But it will really be something, yes? Yeah. Me too. Uh, I'm going to be okay. You know, I just... I know that she was sick and all of that, but I, I was hoping she could... She would just get better and everything would be alright. I just don't know, know why every... You have me, I'm here for you. Stop it already. Come on. What is it? Mm -hmm. All right. No, 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 no. Um, I haven't told Susan about it. Come on, sweetie. I'll tell her everything, okay? Just, just give me a little time. All right? <laughs> all right, all right. Um, I'll give you a ring tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Come on, sweetie. I'll tell her everything. Could that be? Babe, you're out of the bathroom. Who was that on the phone? I heard it talking to someone in the kitchen. Ah, uh, that's my sister. Your sister? Yeah. Chooks, we've been married for five years and you've never mentioned you have a sister. I did. I told you I have a sister, though she's not my biological sister. She's one of those kids that grew up in the orphanage, my mother's orphanage. But because she wasn't adopted after she turned 18, my mother decided to adopt her. And since then, she's like a sister to me. I did accept you for God. Hmm. So what are you telling her that you haven't told me about? Her last wish. My mother's last wish. She made me promise. Her last wish. What did she ask for? Chooks, I need you to promise me something. going anywhere. You are going to beat this cancer. Oh, it's so sweet. It's so sweet you are sounding so optimistic. Even when you know Mother, the Mother, can you not just say it? Can you just say it? Don't say it. <laughs> Sorry. Why have you refused to drink water now? Let me get you water so that you can drink. Rose. Rose is the only family member you have. And I want you to promise me that you will take her to live with you and your wife. And you will do what a brother when I am no more. Well, I, do not, I do not appreciate you using this word when I am no more. You are not going anywhere, Chooks, mother. Chooks, I want you to promise me Promise me that you will take care of her. 
the way she took care of me on this sick bed for years. For years. And I want you to promise me that nothing will come between the two of you. Promise me that. Mother, I promise. Mm. I will take care of you. <laughs> so I want you to do this for me. Please. I promise. Mm. I will take care of you. You mean that was what she wished for? Yeah. How old is she? Twenty-two. Well, if that was your mother's last wish, I can't object to it. When is she moving in? Tomorrow. Okay. We'll see how when she arrives. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your understanding, babe. It's okay. Sure. I want to get something from the kitchen. You need my help? Oh, no. I'm fine. Okay. What's up now? Why are you calling me this late? He's about to. Okay. What about him? Has he started cheating? No. Oh, he's still different from other men? Yes. But not for too long. His mother passed on today. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I overheard him talking to someone on the phone this night. A girl? Yes. Men, men, men. Men will stain your white. Who did he say she is? His sister. He have a sister? That's it. We've been married for five years and Chooks never mentioned he has a sister. Until tonight that I comforted him over his phone call. Okay. Did you at least get to hear what their phone call was about? No, I didn't. So I asked him. And he said his mother made him promise to fulfill her last wish. What's the last wish? To get a second wife since you can't give him a child. Really? Sorry, I didn't mean it. No, 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 no. No, that's not it. Look, according to Chooks, he said his mother adopted this girl when she was 18. And she made him promise to take her in to live with us when she's gone. You know, considering the fact that She's the only family he's got. How old is this girl? 22. As a grown ass woman, so what did you tell him about the wish? I accepted. What? Why did you do something foolish like that? Charity, that's his mother's last wish. What would I have done? Reject it. Look, he's in pain, and I don't want to add to it. Okay, let him bring her first. Then you examine her. If she's going to give you a problem, ah, then you put her in her place. Anyway, I trust you. Okay, no problem. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Yeah, bye.
Bonjour, mademoiselle. Okay. <laughs> Were you in Paris last night? Mm -hmm. <laughs> in my dreams. <laughs> ah. Okay. Oh, the aroma. Did you add something special to this? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, babe. But of course, you know my cooking. Mm. Oh, Lord. Let me help you with that. Please, thank you. Mm. Yes, babe. Yeah. You were supposed to pick your um, fertility test at the hospital today. Oh, yeah. Sure. I'll be going there right after breakfast. Okay. Babe, hmm? <laughs> you won't believe my car is still at the mechanic. I told that guy to bring the car home yesterday, but he didn't show. I told you to change that guy. You don't have to tell me again, right away. But babe, please, I'll need the ride to the hospital. Hmm. That won't be a problem, I can do that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> babe, did you add milk to this? Oh my gosh, my bad. So sorry. You were a Neori, so help yourself. It's all right. Come on, Susan. I'm going to be late for work. I'm coming. What time is she coming today? Uh, 1 p.m. Oh. So I was supposed to pick her up, but uh, I have a meeting by 12 noon. So I'll just book her a ride. And um, yeah, basically. Say 1.31? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Mm. All right, babe. You have a great day. You too. I love you. Mm -hmm. Love you too. Take care. Bye. Bye. Sorry, babe. I was lost in thought. Is everything okay? Are you alright? Yeah. Yeah, everything is fine. Why won't it be? Because you weren't looking happy as you were leaving the hospital. Come on, babe. Mm. Just tell me, are you okay? And, uh, look, I know that sign. Something is definitely not right. I don't know how to tell him the truth. Yes. About what? The baby thing? Yes, Charity. I've dragged this for a long time. This is the fifth year, and I don't think I have money to continue paying the doctor. Why don't you just suggest adoption and save yourself the stress and money? You think you will agree to adoption? Why don't you find out first? 
If you want a baby so desperately as you said he do, then adoption should sound like a good idea to him. Okay. I will mention it to him when he gets back from work. Okay, dear. Just take it easy and be good, okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, bye. <laughs> It's almost 1 p.m. I wonder what time she'll get here. Let me see what she looks like. Chooks. What's he doing home so early? Is that his sister? Oh. She must be the one. Hmm. Interesting. Ah. Close the door. Yeah. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, <sighs> honey. Hello, darling. You're back. Yes. <laughs> wow. So where is that coming from? Well, I just say I've missed my husband. <laughs> okay, I like that. That's <laughs> Mom. Oh. Is she your sister? Yes, Rose. Meet my beautiful wife. Susan. It's nice meeting you, Ma. <laughs> ah, she's well mannered. Mm -hmm. uh, babe, mm -hmm. I thought you said you wouldn't be able to pick her up because of your meeting. Oh, yes. Uh, they cancelled, so I was like, why not? Let me just go and pick her up. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, Rose, you're welcome to our home. Thank you, Ma. My husband has told me so much about you. Really? Hope you told you nice things about me. Oh, well, yeah, sure. But we'll soon find out if they're true. <laughs> and I'm really sorry about mom's passing. Thank you so much, mom. Anyway, let me show you to your room. Right. Oh, wait, no. I can handle this. Let me help you with that. Yeah? Yeah, sure. Okay, let me just get my bag. Okay. The car. Yeah. Okay. Hey, yeah. You can handle your bag yourself, right? Sure, I can. Thank you. Follow me. Okay, so this is your room. Um, the bathroom is over there. There are also toiletries there. If you need anything, let me know. Thank you, Ma. Thank you for letting me into your home. Make sure I don't regret this. I will not, ma'am. I won't. At least you'll feel at home. You know I'll do anything to make you happy, right? I know. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you. Hmm. Speaking of 
speaking of making you happy, I got the results today and and I'm listening. Still not positive. Why? Why? We we did everything right. This is why is it not working? I mean we been trying for the past five years. This is supposed to work. I don't know. The initial result shows that we are both good, so I don't understand why it's not working. I was just thinking that this was it. I know. Me too. What if we adopt? Adopt? Since our own is not forthcoming, what if we bring in a child? Look, I heard in some cases, adoption brings good luck to couples looking for a child. Is this what you want? Not really. But giving a less privileged child a meaningful life is something worth doing. Right? Yeah, absolutely. So she do it. I don't know. If, if it will make you happy, why not? And this may be the breakthrough that we've been looking for. Thank you. This is why I love you so much. I love you too. Thank you for agreeing with us. I really appreciate it. Anything for you, my darling. Okay, let me quickly go and fix us something to eat. You're not going back to the office, are you? Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm done. I'm done from the office today. Okay. L let me also check how she's settling in. So, how are you settling in? She's nice. She's I, so nice. I told you. <laughs> I wasn't expecting her to welcome me with such warm welcome. Oh, well, that is Susan. She wants everyone around her to be very comfortable. And she even said if I need anything, I should let her know. See? <laughs> I told you you'll be okay. Thank you. For what? For letting me have a home. For letting me into your family. It's me you're speaking English. <laughs> Come on, you're always hungry. Mm. Um. <laughs> Alright, so you get ready and come for dinner. Okay, I'll be with you shortly. Short! Okay. With Lee. <laughs> What are you doing? This is on. I'm making dinner. You tell my permission? I don't I You thought what? I'm so sorry if I overstepped my boundaries. I'm really trying to help. You want to help? Yes, I would do anything to end my stay here. Hmm. I like the word earn in your statement. But hey. Listen to me attentively, because I'm not going to repeat myself. I like it when people know their place in other people's life and maintain it. You see this house? It's mine, not yours. Chooks is my husband and not yours. And I call the shot here. So next time you want to help, wait for my permission. Are we clear? 
Yes. Yes what? Yes, ma'am. Oh, good. Aren't you a fast learner? Don't you ever touch my pot, my gas, or any other thing in this house without my permission. Trust me, darling. You don't want to see the not so nice side of me. Okay. I see through you. Who would have thought that you're a cop, baby? You're a good pretender. Your smile is so deceiving, but I can see through your charade. A heart so black and so unreal, leaving trace of pain behind. I see through you. Who would have thought that you're a cop, baby? <laughs> you remember that one time we were watching our favorite TV series, mm -hmm. and then she walked in on us and they were pretending that she was sleeping. <laughs> And so, somehow, she figured that we weren't sleeping. It was your smack, the smacking that she gave you. The way you shouted, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I started laughing. <laughs> well, I was pretending to sleep, I started laughing. Oh, I, I, I remember the look on her face. Yeah. <laughs> look on to miss her. I know. We are all going to miss her. Come here. You'll be fine. We will be fine. Okay, I think we should um, resume those our games. Mm -hmm. Like the morning jaw games, those things we used to do back then. Yes. The cooking competition and the game of chess. You used to play chess game. Of course I do, and I will beat you again, left, right, front, back, center, wherever you come. From. Not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Are you? Are I you will. I will beat you at it. You will be so surprised. You're challenging me. Yes, I'm challenging you. Oh, okay. All right. And again, there's this um TV program they show every Friday. I'm following it up. You will love it. Really? You will love this series. It's very interesting they, they have this insertion about food i know you like learning new recipes so you would love it yes <laughs> i would babe yeah are you done eating yeah i'm filled up i'll just drop this in the kitchen oh okay hmm. so remember there's this place where i need to take it we we are just discussing without including her. Are you sure she's not upset? Upset? No. She's fine. She's just giving us time to catch up, you know. Are you sure? <laughs> Come okay. on. You, you still doing this thing that you do. You eat meat before food. You not even touch your food. You want to eat meat. Leave me. 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 Why does she feel I'm angry? Is that a plan? To get me upset by being all over my husband, blabbing rubbish that doesn't even make sense. To prove what exactly? second wife what does she look like she's just there so where is she i sent her on an errand 
Okay, I hope she will be respectful. Hmm. Can you imagine? I walked in on her in the kitchen the other day, wearing this hot bomb shot while preparing dinner. Bomb shot already? Hmm. <laughs> Babe, look, you had better open your eyes very wide before you be inside water and allow soap to enter your eyes. <laughs> but come, who wears a bomb shot to cook in the house that is not her own? I wonder. Look. Charity, I have a bad feeling about her being wrong. Tell me about it. What do I do? It's simple. Just clip her wings before she thinks she could spread them to fly under your roof. Hmm. But how? Show her you are the madam of the house. Put her in her place. Look, put a serious fear in her. Let her know that she's just here to help. By so doing, she'll never dare to cross your man. You're right. Ah, you know I'm always right. You know it. And come. Don't go and be doing Madame too nice. Though. I know you. Learn how to put people in their right place. Especially her. Put her in her right place. Ah. I think that's what I do. I'd better do it fast. If not, who comes to somebody's house and trying to, to take over? Bomb shot already? <laughs> Babe, look, you had better open your eyes very wide before you be inside water and allow soap to enter your eyes. <laughs> but come. Who wears a bomb shot to cook in the house that is not her own? Simple. Just clip her wings before she thinks she could spread them to fly under your roof. But how? Show her you are the madam of the house. Put her in her place. Look, put a serious fear in her. Let her know that she's just here to help. By so doing, she'll never dare to cross your man. She's right. I don't trust what I witnessed between them this evening. I have to put Rose in her place to avoid a dying one. All this brother and sister's nonsense. I'm not buying it. You wake up for me from my house. 7 a.m. 7 a.m. As Princess Diane, that you are, right? Will you get up from there? Don't you know Chicks is supposed to eat before going to work? Here. Yeah. The list of the chores you're going to do today. I will wash toilets twice a day, morning and night. And cook fresh soup and pound yam every morning for Uncle Chooks. And why is he on your bed questioning me? Are you deaf? I said get up and get to the kitchen and go to work now. A smile is so deceiving, but I can see through your charade. A heart so black and so unreal, leaving trace of pain behind. I see through you. Who would have thought then you're capable? You're a good pretender. A smile is so deceiving. But I can see through your charade A heart so black and so unreal Leaving trace of pain behind Okay, I'll take it from here Go to your room Go and start cleaning the toilet and the bathroom Start from there Okay, go, 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 go Oh, you're so weak Oh, you're so evil Always pretend You're so Hi Good morning Good morning, darling where is Rose? Oh, she's still sleeping. 
You mean you made all this by yourself? Not a big deal. No, 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 no. She can't be sleeping while you do all the house chores. It's not necessary. I'll have a rest. No, let me have a word with her. Like... Come on, babe. Come and eat. And head to work before traffic kicks in and delay you. You eat. Bye. Your lies and your deceit. Thank you. They will come up in the light. Well, I see through you. I will have a chat with you later. You got to go to house church. You're a good pretender. Oh, you're right. Okay, let me get you water for your tea. Okay, thank you. Always pretend. Your lie will soon catch up with. Oh, you're so weak. Oh, you're so evil. You always pretend your lie will soon catch up with you. With you. Oh, with you. With you. Oh, you're so evil. I'm left alone in this house with this creepy wife that I don't understand. One minute she's nice, the next minute she's not, for no good reason. Oh, you're so evil. Oh, you're so evil. You always pretend your lie will soon catch up with you. With you. Here. Oh, Can you wash them? Make sure you wash them properly. Let me know when you're done so I can show you what else to do. Okay. I'll wash them after having my breakfast. No. You are not having any breakfast until you're done with all your house chores. So get to work. And Rose, know that I have my eyes on you. Coming. Ma, I'm done washing the clothes. Please, can I have my breakfast now? What part of you not have breakfast until you're done with all the house chores? Don't you understand? Hmm? The toilet is dirty. Wash it along with the bathroom. Well, I'm hungry. And it's 1 p.m. already. Then be fast with your work. These are the things you have to do to end your stay in this house. And what are you still doing there? I can you get out and go and do what I asked you to do. Nonsense.
can wash in the toilet and the bathroom. Did you clean there properly? Yes, ma, I did. If I go in there and they're not sparkling, clean enough for me to see my face on the wall, you clean it again. It's clean, ma. All right. Follow me. Them too. Where are you? Ma, where are you taking my clothes to? Go and get matches and some fuel from the generator house. You want to burn them? They are mine. Listen, if you must live under my roof, then you must abide by my rules. And my rule number one is no indecent dressing. Indecent dressing? Yes! Look, I have responsible family men as neighbors. And their wives don't need to be worried about their husband abandoning their family obligation to chase around a girl that dresses like a street slut. And I will not be the one to have such a girl that will give my neighbors headache. So bond them. I'll get to what you'll be wearing from now on. Who would have thought that you're capable you're a good pretender. Oh. Papa, I don't this woman. Papa, I don't. Me, I will not burn my clothes. I cannot burn my clothes. I can't burn. Your I will soon catch up with. Oh, you're so weak. Oh, you're so evil. You're always pretending. Where is this girl? Rose! No. These are your new clothes. I don't want to ever see you wearing those indecent dresses that you refuse to burn. Yes, ma'am. Have I made myself clear? Yes, ma'am. Take this money. Go to the market. Buy some groceries for dinner. Okay? Thank you, ma'am. Please, ma'am. Can I have breakfast? Even if it's water and bread before going to the market. I should wait for you to have bread before going to the market. You must be very stupid. Go to the market that I sent you. I don't waste my time. I don't want to wait for you. Okay? How on earth will I live this? How on earth? How on earth? How on earth will I live this? How on earth will I live this? How? How? My word means nothing to you, right? Rose. You pay your what? This should be the last time you will ever disobey my instructions in this house. Have I made myself clear? Idiot. You were hungry. Did you buy the food? Come and eat. You're a good pretender Your smile is so deceiving But I can see through your charade A heart so black and so unreal Leaving trace of pain behind I see through you Who would have thought that you're a cop, baby? You're a good pretender Oh, you're so weak Oh, you're so evil you're always pretending 
Your love will soon catch up with Oh, you're so weak Oh, you're so evil You always pretend Your love will soon catch up with you With you Oh, with you Keep that up, Bruce It's not for you Drop it Let me see what you got from the market. There we go. Okay, okay, that's enough. Hope you got everything I wrote on that list. Yes, ma'am, I did. Good. All right, start cooking. My husband will be home soon. And I don't want him to get home, and we are still at the process of making dinner. Okay. So, get on it. Get to it. So she can get everything in this fridge so I don't take anything from it. Ha! What the heck is it? Hmm. Nigerian fashion industry is really making me proud lately. Look at this. Wow. It's back from work. Sit down the dining and wait for me. But I'm still clearing the place. Just do what I ask you. Go, I'll take care of it. Go now! Okay, sweetheart, this is for you. This is your food. Mm. I got some juice. <laughs> is this enough? Oh, don't worry. If you want more, just go to the pot and take, okay? Hello. <laughs> oh, hi, baby. <laughs> baby how are you? Mm. How's your day? Fine. How's work today? Work is fine. <laughs> hey, sis, how are you? Is she okay? Ah, she's fine. She's no, fine. Just, uh, well, let me help you with that. Right. Let's allow my journey. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. What? I am super glad I married you. Why do you say that? Ah, look at the way you welcomed her. The way you treat my sister, like she's your own. Of course, she's my own. She's family, and that makes her my own. Come here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being an amazing wife. And for everything you do to sustain this home. Thank you. You're welcome, baby. So, 
So, why don't you change, freshen up while I serve your dinner? Sure. Let me just um, hit the shower. Okay. <sighs> Yeah, coming. Please, do you have a minute? Yeah, sure. Please, can I show you something in the kitchen? What's going on? Santa Susan, she's not who she appears to be. How do you mean? I don't think she likes the fact that I'm here to leave it to you and her. Why do you think so? Because of what she did today. What exactly did she do? Spoke to me anyhow. Hi. Is it true? Is what true? Rose said you deprived her of breakfast until she finishes her chores, which she was done a few minutes before I walked in. Is it true? <laughs> what? Why would I do such a terrible thing to her? Is that what she told you? That I deprived her of having breakfast that she had more than once, if I'm not mistaken. Why you Rose lie against me like that? When you go back from work this evening, was I not the one you saw serving her dinner? <laughs> Why she lie against me? Babe, don't, don't do that. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, don't, don't cry. I just want to find out if what she said was true. I don't want you to cry. It's hurtful that someone you care so much about turn against you for no reason. It's, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, babe. Why would she say that you were hard on her if, if you weren't? I don't know. Maybe she has something in mind that you and I don't know about. But you know me, babe. You know I will never, ever matrix someone I know you care about, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's okay, babe. It's okay, it's okay. Mm? It's okay. Just stop. Rest. Let me have a word with her. Okay? Okay. You're a good pretender. Your smile is so deceiving. <laughs> but I can see through your charade. A heart so black and so unreal. Leaving trace Mom. up in behind. I will show her that we take me with later. Who would have thought then you're a cop, baby? You're a good pretender. Oh, you're so weak. I spoke to my wife about what you told me. And... Let me guess. She denied it. Rose, I know my wife. She cannot even hurt a fly, let alone a family member. So you think I'm lying? Are you? No, I'm not. I'm not. Rose, I don't, I don't know what this is about. But please, whatever it is, just squash it, okay? And focus on building a relationship with her. With us. Please. You do that for me. Rose. Okay. Okay. Your love will soon catch up with. Oh, you're so weak. Oh, you're so evil. 
So let me just um arrange some things in the office and I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you you have a fruitful day, okay? Have a lovely day. Drive safely. I will. <sighs> That stupid girl. Rose! Come here. So you have the guts to report me to my husband, right? I will show you never to mess with me in this house. What are you doing? I'm washing the plates. Good. Tidy up the kitchen. And when you're done, I need you to clean all the rooms and windows in this house before thinking of having anything for breakfast. Have I made myself clear? Ungrateful idiots. This one want. Hello, good morning, doctor. Good morning. So, when are you coming in to renew? I won't be coming for any more tests. Chooks and I have decided to adopt. Adopt? Yes. But I thought he said he wanted a child of his own. Yes, it does. But since it's not happening, we've decided to adopt instead of waiting. Did you tell him the truth? No. And you will not. Promise to do the need for. How much? 200k. What? It's nothing compared to what I have to do for you. Okay, fine. Send me your account details. I'll make the transfer now. Right away. And doctor, this is goodbyes. Of course. I'll send my account details right away. This man better not contact me after this. Can see through your charade. I had so black and so unreal, leaving trace of pain behind. I see through you. Who would have thought that you're a cop, baby? You're a good pretender. Your smile is so deceiving, but I can see through your charade. I had so black and so unreal, leaving trace of pain behind. I see through. Then you're a cop, baby You're a good pretender Oh, you're so weak Oh, you're so evil You always pretend Your life will soon catch up with Oh, you're so weak Oh, you're so evil You always pretend Your life will soon catch up with you Hey, hey, hey! Stupid! How can you use the same water you mop the kitchen floor with to mop the living room? Do you want the whole house to start smelling? But why are you going to change the time before I lose my temper on you? Idiot! If it's to run your mouth to my husband now, you'll be so fast to do it. My friend, get out of here! Your smile is so deceiving, 
But I can see through your charade Stupid girl Her hearts are black and so unreal Leaving trace of pain behind I see through you Ouch! Hey Rose, these are delicate. Be gentle with them. Take. My friend, take. Have you seen this kind of underwear in your life before? Do you know how expensive they are? What kind of woman is this? Hmm? Even her underwear, she can't wash it. If not for wickedness, why would she insist that I will wash all these clothes with my bare hands when there's a washing machine in the house? This is not wickedness. Hmm. Yes, so can you imagine the nerves, the audacity? <laughs> and what did he say? Babe, you know me now. I played the victim card and I left him confused. <laughs> you yet I've seen the way I was crying, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you're this girl. You're so very wicked. But that Rose girl have some girls reporting you to your <laughs> husband. I wonder what gave her such moral. Look, whatever it is, doesn't matter. Because Chooks believed my words over us. He did? Of course. Before Uncle. Am I not his wife? Huh. Look, anyways, babe, I'm going to talk to you later, huh? All right, dear. Yeah. Take care. Ciao. Let me go see what that stupid guy is doing. Wait, oh. What? Is she kidding me? Ah, she better not. <laughs> she bet. Oh my god. Okay. Rose, <laughs> you're so funny. Ah, ah, so what happened? <laughs> eh? Hello, ladies. Oh, hi, honey. How you're are back. You? Yes. <laughs> How are you? Welcome. Thank you. Hmm. I can see that both of you have squashed your beef. Oh yeah, we had a chat and we're good now. Hmm. Right, Rose? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. All right then. Let me. 
leave you to enjoy your dinner while I freshen up. That's all right. Let me know when you're ready so I can serve your dinner. All right, babe. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, go out into the kitchen. Take your food to the kitchen. Get out. What do you want? Well, that's quite direct. We agreed you stopped contacting me because we were done. So why are you calling me doctor? I ran into some trouble and I used some help. What problem? Let me guess. Your gambling addiction. I'm not addicted to gambling. Then why do you still go back to that casino every damn night? What help do you want? 250,000. It must be a joke. Do you think I own a bank? Where do you expect me to get that kind of money from? Look, your husband is rich. So just tell me you want to use it. I'm sure he won't think twice before handing it over to you. Even if I could. So you expect me to be giving you money every time you ask for it? You owe me big time, Susan. I owe you nothing, doctor. Very well then. If I don't get what I want, then I might as well just rid myself of this heavy secret I'm holding for you. Just end it. Oh my God. <sighs> yes, Susan. I'll send you the money. But this will be the very last time. Because if you ever contact me again to ask for money, I will not take it lightly with you. Okay. You have my account details. Send it back, I deleted it. Okay. I thought I heard you talking to someone on the phone. Oh, that's my sister. Oh, Charity. How is she doing? <laughs> you know Charity now. She's fine. Okay. <coughs> Are you okay? <coughs> so... um, uh, um, tasty. I need to get water from the kitchen. All right. Hi, Charity. He called again, demanding for another money. Doc? Yes. How much did he demand this time? 250,000 Naira. Else, he will spill the beans. What the f Did you give him the money? I had no choice. He's not going to stop if you keep giving him money when, whenever he asks for it. I already told him this will be the last time. And if it's not, how will you handle it then? Look, when we get to that bridge, we'll cross it. Okay, if you say so. Now, how is the competition in the house? <laughs> That's right. Huh? I've oppressed her into silence. You can barely know she's the one in that house. <laughs> Look, all she does is wake up very early, cook, clean the house, and stay quiet. She doesn't even go close to my husband anymore. Well, good for her. Babe, look, I have to go, okay? I have to go. My papa is here to take me out. <laughs> we are clubbing. Eh? <laughs> so you have a boyfriend now? Pray for me that I don't get pregnant tonight because mm, if this guy <laughs> asks for a cookie, <laughs> babe, I'm giving it 
up like a charity <laughs> kiss. Oh, wait. <laughs> charity, you're a very silly girl. You know that, right? <laughs> I'll talk to you later, sis. Bye. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> My God. This is so naughty. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Who is she always calling like this? I hope she's not cheating on Uncle Chuk so. Yeah. Oh. something you're not telling me? No. No problem. Are you sure? Yeah. Why'd you ask? Because you've been behaving strangely lately. I mean, is there anything the problem? How do you mean? You are no longer your enthusiastic self. Like your light has been quenched. What exactly is going on? I'm okay. I'm fine. Hmm. So what happened to your clothes? You don't wear them anymore. What's, what's with all this? I've outgrown them. All of them? Yes, all of them. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to disturb you. Nonsense. Talk to me about what you want, your needs, everything. That's why I'm here. I promised mom that I was going to take care of you. And that is what I'm going to do. So you have needs, you let me know. That's my responsibility to provide them. Okay? Okay. Tomorrow morning, remind me to drop some money with you when before leaving for work okay okay good night are you chasing me out of your room no i'm not chasing you out of my room i just want to see you So, you have finally realized you cannot win this marathon with me. The truth is, you are a stranger. And you always remain that way. Because you are not blood related. Make sure you wash those dishes in the sink before you go to bed. Just want to look at why is that smiling? Leave her now. No. What is it? Mommy, she kicked me. Don't mind her. You see, you see, she's she's one coming to fight. Stay one please. Leave me, she leave me now. Stay one please. Why coming to fight now? Stay one please. Chill so. What is it? Did they? I'm watching TV, me, she's here me. disturbing me. Me, just leave me alone. Don't leave me, Mo. Leave him. I'm looking for trouble. Eh, eh. See, she's the one kicking me with her leg. <laughs> what is it? Eh, eh. Ah. She wants to hit me with her self as. No, I'm away. What about this thing, Okay. 
Hmm. Okay. This one. Hmm. This one looks nice. What color should I wear? Hmm. I tend to wear gold. Okay. I'm sure gold. Let me bring another one. Okay. Well, this is nice. Mm -hmm. I wear my high heel on this. Ah, fashion designer. You're yet to pick out clothes for mom. Uh, I'm on it. You are on it. You are spending years doing that. Mm -hmm. you're if only you had a wife now, she'll be here doing this for me. That reminds me. When are you bringing a wife home for me? Eh? Mom, you have to have a girlfriend first before you can think of a wife. Oh, really? Yes. So you want to look into your mother's eye and lie to her, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, what hey, is it? Hey, leave her! Hey, leave her! Leave me, leave me. I mean, you, you know me, I cannot keep anything away from mommy. Please, no, so when am I seeing this girlfriend you've been hiding from me? Uh -huh. hmm? um, you meet her now. It's, uh, you like her. She's from a very good family. She's a decent girl. Oh. Yes. When am I meeting her? Soon. Soon. Oh. I want to meet her. Oh. So that I will be sure she's not the type of girl that will come in between you and your sister. <laughs> mm -hmm. Somebody coming between me and... I know she's very stubborn. She doesn't hear me. Just leave her. Leave her. There's nobody eh? that can come Listen to me, Chus. <laughs> blood or no blood. You see, Rose, she is part of this family. And forever she will be. Um, I know. Uh -huh. you know. I know. Even though she doesn't oh, expect it. Oh, she's she's not even I pressing my stomach. Come, hmm. wear this one. This wear this one with. That your black shoe. Leave it, leave it, leave women ish and this thing for women. Yeah. Okay, go. Sent the, the file. Just help me go through it. Yeah, I will. <coughs> I just wanted someone else to look at it. I've written it for like three times now, checked it, and everything is looking good, but I still want you to look at it for me, okay? That's not a problem, baby. All right, I'll see you later. Yeah, take care. Aha, uh -huh. that reminds me, I forgot to ask your meeting with the agency. How was it? Oh, it was successful. Yeah. They found someone for us and she's pregnant. Already? Yeah. She'll be doing a month from now. <laughs> okay, so you're saying now that in a month's time we'll have our own baby. Yes. <laughs> and guess what? Yeah. She's having twins. <laughs> twins? Yes. Oh a boy God. and a girl. <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> this is the best news I've heard in a long time. I know. <laughs> God, I, I can't wait. Me too. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for just suggesting. Anything to make you happy, babe. All right, let me go to work. <laughs> I, I, I'll be okay. Late. <laughs> I love Bye. you. Bye, I love you too.
Where is the money? What money? The one he gave you to shop for new clothes. It's my money. Hand it over. Why should I hand it over to you? Rose, give me that money and stop asking me stupid questions. If he asks you why you didn't buy the clothes, you better tell him he lost the money. Because if you ever mention that I took this money from you, I'll make this house a living hell for you. Still need to go to the market to buy groceries for dinner. from your village. Check what you're cooking. Check what you're cooking! How will you know? When you're sleeping while cooking, who does that? Do you want to burn down my entire house? Do you know how much you've wasted for me and my husband simply because you cannot handle a simple chore? You see this food? This is what you eat today and tomorrow. Look, you better pack it to your room now because if I catch you eating any other thing in this house other than this bought food, then dig your grave because I will kill you. Idiots. Who would have thought that you're a cop paper? You're a good pretender. Oh, you're so weak. Oh, you're so evil. You always pretend 
Your I will soon catch up with Oh, you're so weak Oh, you're so evil You always pretend Your I will soon yes, honey. catch up with you I can't even believe that two weeks from now We'll officially become parents <laughs> I know, right? Mm -hmm. I think we should start um, Arranging the nursery Shopping for the babies, buy their clothes, food stuff, everything that the babies will need. Let's just start <laughs> making arrangements. What do you think? Yeah, I agree with you. I think that's a good idea. Okay. I know. I just... So surreal. Oh, babe. Yeah. I want to get something from the kitchen. Okay. I'll be right back. All right. Why are you calling me? To hell with you, doctor. I'm not giving you a dime. We agreed on this. Will you let me finish, please? I don't care whatever you have to say. I don't own a bank, doctor. I'm not giving you a penny this time around. Listen, I need this money. And I promise you, this is the last time you will ever get a call from me. What do I do? What? This was what you said the last time. And the last time before that. I don't want a bank doctor. How much? One million naira. One? One what? I'll get back to you. Oh my God. <sighs> Hello? Hi sister, what's up? He called again. Who? The doctor. He wants another money. How much? One million naira. What? You are not planning to give him that kind of money, are you? Where do you want me to get one million naira from? You know I can't ask jokes for such amount of money without a better explanation. Uh, so, so what are you going to do about it? He's going to reveal the secret to jokes if I don't give him this money. What? And I don't think he will ever stop blackmailing me if I don't give him the money either. Charity. I think I need to do the needful. Get rid of him and silence him for good. By silence him, you mean kill him? Look, the adoption agency has approved our adoption and in two weeks from now, we'll be expecting our kids. Wow. That's good. I don't want anything to ruin everything I've worked for. My dream home. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy for you, baby. I'm happy. Thank God. Well, he asked for it. So, tell me, what's the plan? I'll let you know. Alright. Well. Hello, doctor. I can't make the transfer, so I'll have to give you the money in cash. That's fine by me. I'll call you tomorrow by 6 p.m. to tell you where and when to come get your money. All right. I will respect your call. Hmm. 
you won't know what hit him. In case my husband asks of me when he returns from work, tell him I went to my sister's house to pick up something. Yes, ma'am. I'll be right back. Okay. What are you doing here, busybody? Is someone brought him? the lovely things I bought for our kids. Ooh. Oh my God. What's wrong? Were you ever going to tell me the truth, Susan? Excuse me. Susan, I trusted you. How could you do this to me? Do what to you? Come on, stop the pretense. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Babe, I honestly don't know what you're talking about. Oh, really? Okay, fine. Since you don't know what I'm talking about, let me refresh your memory. You have been paying the doctor to keep your dirty little secret. Exactly the look I was expecting to see on your face. How do you mean I'm paying the doctor to keep my secret? Which doctor? I give you the chance to defend yourself and you lie to me. You're still lying to me. Rose? Now. Doctor! Are you? Alive. Thanks to her. What? Rose was aware of your plans to eliminate the only person who knew about your dirty secret. How? What? This was what you said the last time. And the last time before that. I don't want a bad doctor. How much? One million naira. What? 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 This is it, Susan. After this, you will not hear from me ever again. I'll get back to you. Is someone blackmailing her? What secret is she keeping from Brother Chooks that will ruin everything for her? Hmm. I have to tell Juice. But wait. 
I don't know what is going on yet, so I don't think that's a good idea. Let me wait until tomorrow and find out what is going on before I tell him nothing. Hmm. In case my husband asks of me when he returns from work, tell him I went to my sister's house to pick up something. Yes, ma'am. I'll be right back. Okay. Follow her immediately. Immediately. Okay, okay. And who is the driver? A trusted friend. Are you sure? Yes, I'm good. Something. Drive. Okay. Do you trust me? Yeah, it's good. Hi, Susan. Hello, doctor. Are you alone? Yes. Where's the money? Did you tell anyone about our deal? No. Why? Because I don't want my husband to ever find out that I gave you this money. No one knows I'm here. Not even your colleague? Mm, not a soul. Okay. I'll get your money. Here. Is it complete? I not count it.
was hard for me to believe that my wife was going to kill a man just to keep hiding her little secret. Babe, I don't know what I told you, but it's not true. Not true? Not true that you don't have a womb? Not true that you kept lying to me about you being able to deliver a child while you can't even, you don't even have a womb? What, what did I do to you? What exactly did I do to you? I, don't you even dare say that to me. I loved you. I loved you with every fiber in me. I loved you. I loved you and you. You were deceiving me. Where did I go wrong? Was I... Was I the stupid one? love you wholeheartedly. No. Don't even dare touch me with that filthy hands of yours. I'll be sending you the divorce paper in prison. Just make sure you sign it. Don't touch me. Just don't touch me. Officers! If you touch me, if you touch me, Madam, we are from FCT Police Command and you are under arrest for attempted murder. Officer, arrest her. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Hey, please, don't let him take me away, babe. Please, you can talk about this. Hey, please, I'm sorry. This way. There's no peace for the weekend. This way, ma. Move. 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 Mr. Chu. Hey. Don't you even dare call my name. You are as guilty as she is. You better go and make good use of the second chance God has given you. Out of my house. Thank you for your help. I'm sorry. I can't even begin to imagine the torture you must have undergone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not believing you. I'm sorry for not listening to you. Please forgive me. The smile is so deceiving, but I can see through your charade. A heart so black and so unreal, leaving trace of pain behind. I see through you. Who would have thought that you're a cop, baby? You're a good pretender. Your smile is so deceiving, but I can see through your charade. A heart so black and so unreal, leaving trace of pain behind. I see through you. Who would have thought that you're a cop, baby? You're a good pretender. Oh, you're so weak. Oh, you're so evil. You always pretend your lie will soon catch up with. Oh, you're so weak. 